Welcome to Earth, our beloved Mama Gaia, our sacred home where collectively we share the gift of life. Life is a true miracle for those who live in heart-centered connection. However, when the mind leads without the compassionate wisdom of the heart, fear is not far behind, and with it comes great suffering. Throughout history, so many have worked tirelessly to bring healing to the world's wounds. But now as never before, we are being challenged by negative forces. Self-serving agendas, extreme polarity, climate change, and a loss of hope are intensifying, bringing a tsunami of confusion, chaos, and despair in its wake. How many of us here today are feeling an urgent impulse pressing us to awaken our global heart-centered consciousness before it's too late? How many of us are feeling the growing urgency to heed that call, not only for ourselves, but for all sentient beings and our beloved Earth? She is our home. We are her steward, and we are each other's steward. Throughout history, global challenges and events have served either as a gateway to humanity's growth and transformation, bringing greater peace, love, connection, and oneness, or stirred its global shadow, promoting feelings of separation, polarization, and fear. For so many, overwhelming mental, physical, and emotional events are intensifying experiences of trauma. Life feels hopeless and unmanageable. Did you know that current statistics show over 800,000 people of all ages are choosing suicide? The fullest expression of a loss of faith, hope, trust, and love. And when will humanity grow weary of the needless loss of life through myriad acts of violence? We may appear separate, but we are truly a complex and delicate interconnected organism that thrives when we honor and care for one another. In the biggest picture, what we do to each other in the earth, we do to ourselves. When will we awaken to the greater understanding of our interconnectedness? When will we see the miracle and sanctity of life that is happening within us and all around us? We have witnessed and experienced the massive destruction and devastation that unfolds when the mind leads without the compassionate wisdom of the heart. How might that change if the heart were to lead? Imagine the peace that may prevail, the joy, the depth of connection with ourselves, with each other, and with life that is possible in a world where heart-centered awareness is our guiding force and light. Those of us heeding the evolutionary call to awaken know it begins with holding ourselves accountable to fully living in unity consciousness. And we will do it through our thoughts, our words, and our actions. It means living from the heart and allowing the highest source to lead us, guide us, and direct us. And from there, together, we will usher in the golden age of love. What if every member of humanity holds the key to the greatest antidote for healing ourselves individually and as a collective? What if there's a simple roadmap that opens the pathway for living in direct access to source, where the heart and mind are inextricably linked, which is the truest formula for living in oneness? 
The intention of this presentation is just that, to share with you a simple formula, a practice designed to lead humanity out of our global shadow by guiding us inward. And from there, we enter the we space. We call them the six global agreements. The following six global agreements were designed to be a living blueprint for our personal and collective awakening. They are the cornerstone of the we-volution. Making these a daily practice will help to bind us collectively and anchor in this higher vibration of love. We invite you to sit back, close your eyes, and imagine. If every member of humanity committed to saying, to living, and to sharing these very simple words, six global agreements designed to awaken us to our highest form of personal responsibility, open-hearted living, and expansion of consciousness, six agreements that have the power to pull back the curtain of shadow that challenges every corner of the globe. Six powerful agreements to bring forth global healing and expansive heart-mind connection, which opens the doorway for humanity to finally live the true meaning of oneness. Agreement number one. Plug into source daily. Meditation Mindfulness, breathwork, yoga, mantra, visualization, prayer, peacemaking, and forgiveness work are examples. Forgiving ourselves and each other clears and opens our hearts, deepening our connection to ourselves, to each other, and to spirit. Just as Olympic athletes rigorously train so too must we strengthen our spiritual muscles, deepening our connection to source and expanding our energetic capacities. Daily spiritual practice is the practice of love. Agreement number two, cultivate courageous vulnerability. Be authentic, allow people to see your struggles to see your humanity. Take off your social mask. Dare to be transparent. You allow others to contribute more to you when you do, creating deeper connections and intimacy in your relationships. Agreement number three, lead with compassionate curiosity. When you find yourself judging, defending your position, becoming critical or self-righteous, step back and observe. Put in the effort to see through another's eyes. Get curious about how they came to be the person, personality they are today. What shaped their consciousness and perceptions? What informed their beliefs? What are the needs and values driving their unconscious behaviors and their conscious choices? The more you understand how a person came to be who they are, the more compassion and empathy you can hold for them. Genuinely care about their well-being. Agreement number four. Practice radical self-acceptance. Compassionately witness your critical thoughts. How can you be more kind to yourself even the inner judge needs compassion and kindness. Deeply listen to the inner voices of your wounding. Seek to understand, allow, forgive, heal and transform. Practice accepting the parts of yourself that feel unlovable. Speak with as much kindness to these parts of self as you would to your beloved or a newborn baby. The more you accept disowned aspects of yourself, 
the easier it will be for you to have compassion for others. Agreement number five, respect each other. You don't have to agree with another's beliefs to be thoughtful and considerate in your communication. Refrain from yelling, using words and body language that objectify, generalize, or dehumanize. Use language that creates connection rather than black, white, right, wrong dialogue. Before you engage in conversation, get clear on your own motivation in the exchange. Are you sharing to affirm how you think or feel and to change someone's opinion? Or are you allowing the space to create deeper understanding and connection? Agreement number six, play together. Get out there and play. Make music together. Find the humor in life. Dream, build, and create with those who are fun and inspiring. Play fuels the imagination and sparks out-of-the-box thinking and solutions. Play improves relationships. It inspires deeper connection and bonding with others. Play creates rapport as you come into more sympathetic resonance with one another through fun and laughter. It teaches cooperation. Play is one of the highest forms of prayer. Just as the butterfly, by simply flapping its wings in India, creates a ripple in the matrix, so can we, with every thought, word, and deed. The time for a global call for conscious action is here. The moment in our evolution, we're moving from the I to the we, the time for mutual awakening. There cannot be more evolution without a weevolution. Together, we have the power to raise the vibration of the planet, to bring healing to ourselves, our ancestral lineage, to all life. We hold the key to permanently opening the gateway, ushering in greater peace, love, connection, and oneness. What would love do? Are we who gather here today committed to global oneness, to being true warriors for love? Are we ready to catalyze the weevolution and join together in flexing our compassionate muscles daily, consistently, and consciously? Your sacred yes could be the very one that creates the tipping point for bringing the change we all seek in the world. Will you join me in incorporating the six global agreements into your life?